Hello guys, it's uh, Rad uh, from Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising uh, weekly tarot reading for uh, February 4th to uh, February 10th, 2019 and uh, for this reading I'm going to use the uh, standard reader weight uh, tarot deck <clears throat> which I'm going to shuffle right now and while I'm doing the shuffling, uh, once again, I want to remind you that uh, that is going to be a, a general tarot reading for Gemini star sign. And for that reason, it's simply going to resonate in a different way and level with every single different Gemini's and this uh, planet really. So uh, for that reason, in the video itself, I'm going to try to... Um, give you the best explanations uh, as I can to the tarot cards uh, that are coming up for the representative positions but uh, ultimately you have to align that general reading uh, for your personal situation uh, if you want to achieve maximum accuracy of course so um, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me just like I'm doing uh, for the tarot uh, with uh, uh, through tarot, excuse me, and give your predictions. That is a subject of a personal reading. And for such, uh, you have to check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. And so the four cards that we do have, these are going to be uh, these four cards. So we do have the first one topic of the week. That is to be the, uh, the hermit. The second one, which is the... Um, things that you should not do or these are the bad things thing, things um, or actions that you can do that are going to hold down your growth that is going to be the seven of swords followed by the next one which is the positive these are the things that will help your growth so that is to be the uh, six of swords and the last one which is the final outcome for you should you follow this development here so you don't do the seven of swords you do the six of swords you stick to the topic and this is how it ends always in a positive way all right because even if the topic is bad then uh, what we are going to have is how you can traverse the bad situation or the unpleasant situation into something positive so at the end with this spread we always have a card of growth here um, and that will be the queen of cups uh, in this uh, specific case so I'm going to leave these cards here on my desk and I'm going to go through them one by one. And that is as well going to be an enhanced tarot spread, which means that I'm going to draw additional card per position. But uh, just as an overview here, it does look like that uh, Gemini's your life is to take on a, a brand new direction here. And that is very well displayed with the Hermit. But the, the whole stirring of the situation or the whole stir you moving on into that direction it has to wait a little bit that is because the hermit itself it speaks for contemplation and it speaks for that one needs to focus on what is essential for them what is substantial for your life so that is how the week is gonna go through you know the more the week passes the more you will start to if you want to say realize you know what is substantial for yourself and for your well-being and the more you realize it the more you will start straving into that direction very easy um, to go by with all right and it's kind of like it comes natural when we look from sideways but it is not always an option available well in this specific week it's going to be an option available for you but in order for you to take advantage of these I will call them insights uh, to realize what is substantial and essential for yourself. You have to be, uh, you have to rely on your intelligence. You need to rely on your wisdom as well. And not on the last place, your calmness. It is very important that you are very, very calm and uh, humble as well. Uh, the Hierophant itself, uh, the the, uh, the Hermit, excuse me, itself asks you uh, if you find it very difficult to decide what is substantial for you and your life is to withdraw, find a, a place where you can seclude yourself. That is because with uh, the Hermit, uh, 
one needs to withdraw from the ideas of others, from the ideas of the world, so one can find what are their personal, generic, and, uh, you know, yeah, and personal and generic ideas that one wants to follow. So it's kind of like deviating yourself from um, <clears throat> the common path that everybody is walking and start walking on your own path. However, with the with the hermit card, uh, very often uh, this new direction that life takes on for you, Gemini's, uh, there are not much people there to support you. Basically, there that is because, as I said, you will have to rely on your wisdom and on your knowledge and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, basically, people will not be able to to understand you well where you're coming from and why you want to take on this new life cycle of growth and development. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the star card and we do have here passive enemies and uh, it kind of now, the seven of swords is start making even more sense at that specific point. And uh, despite of how difficult it could be you to win followers and supporters, <clears throat> all right, even if people do not understand you, they will, those who love you will want to support you through this cycle of development, new cycle of development that is taking on. Uh, that could be uh, starting a new job. It could be starting as well a new relationship for yourself. That's, you know, for example, your parents are not approving very much, but because you are their child, they will support you nonetheless. So it's this kind of support that people are supporting you because they love you and not because they find reason in what are you, in what you are about to do moving on from this week to the, uh, to the next one. So the second card that we do have for you, Gemini's, that is going to be the Seven of Swords. And these are the negative things that you can do throughout the week that can slow down your growth or it could completely diminish your growth. And with the Seven of Swords, this is a this is a about storming the situation. This is a about uh, even if you want to say no, want to let go of, you know, and not taking as way no, uh, no for an answer. As we said, <clears throat> not everybody will be able to, uh, to agree with you and not everybody will want to follow you in this new cycle of development. And with the Seven of Swords, that could kind of like touch your ego, you know, and uh, uh, you may not take no for an answer and you can waste a, a very precious time here instead of contemplating and indulging yourself with what is substantial try to try to convince those people to follow you which is going to be kind of like a, a waste of time again whoever is to follow you in this new cycle and part of growth here that you are to establish or you are to find that you can walk on throughout the week uh, these are people that uh, these people loves you and the love is the only reason and the only needed reason for that matter for them to support you through this growth and through this uh, cycle of development. And uh, here the seven of swords as well asks you not to hide, uh, not to hide, excuse me, the reason why you want to embark this new path, this new road of development. You know, for example, uh, it. If you want to switch one partner for another, uh, you should not lie the partner that you are with right now why you do want to switch them with someone else. Business partner or relationship partner, it doesn't matter. It is just you should you should always uncover or you should uncover here the truth uh, so you can, you know, you can at least start on a um, uh, on clear. I kind of like make a, a clear and fresh start if we're talking for uh, a new development and new start in your life. <clears throat> But with the Seven of Swords, basically, it does mean that you should not be surreptitious and you should not be uh, rather slinky when it comes to uh, making a decision to deviate from one path in favor of another, from a path that favors others to a path that favors you. Even as I said, there, they, there may not be many people here to support you and the next card that accompanies the seven of um, the seven of swords here that is the uh, knight of cups 
and uh, basically with with that specific combination uh, one needs to realize that uh, the, it's kind of like over um, if I may express it that way it's that um, it's not well it's difficult to explain it. it's more like the one re you need to recognize where your happiness basically lies like i said if you are to switch one one partner with another if it is a business partner you need to acknowledge that with the other partner you will be more lucrative or if it is a, a relationship partner you need to realize that with the other partner you will be happier and etc etc basically they these cards are pointing that you shouldn't uh, neglect your personal happiness and do decisions and take on a, a new part in favor of it but in the same time you shouldn't hide as well the reason why you are doing these decisions and why you are to make those actions with uh, people so in other words you shouldn't try to uh, give excuses for your actions rather than for the right convictions that you do have to support them behind right <clears throat> so with uh, that kind of concludes the the negative aspect so all that the, the this week is going to ask from you guys is to be honest and First and foremost, you got to be honest with yourself. You shouldn't lie yourself that you are happy in one relationship if you aren't. You should not lie to yourself that you can grow in one business if your logic tells you that you can't. All right, your wisdom and intelligence tells you that you can't. And you need to make a decision in favor of your own personal growth and personal happiness despite how much that decision may interfere with someone else's um affairs and with someone else's uh, as well uh, aims and goals and etc etc so the next card that we do have for you uh, that is going to be uh, the six of swords and the six of swords is about the positive actions that you can do throughout the week to further your growth and six of swords it's it's kind of a, a card pointing that this week as well you are going to sit on a, a a threshold all right uh, a threshold, as I said, for a new era of development of yours, uh, for a new cycle of development, substantial cycle of growth. And uh, as uh, the support that you are used to until this very moment kind of drops and falls apart and just only a handful of people are left there to support you, like your family, your husband or a wife and etc, etc. Uh, the more the fear of uh, not being capable to do what you are after will start kind of taking place deep down within yourself, within your soul and so on and so forth. But with the Six of Swords, it's um, this card urges you to make a, a, a brave decisions and to take a, a brave decisions and to make brave actions to improve your circumstances. And uh, how you can do so is to recognize that you are in the very first step of development and you are allowed to make a, an error, to make a mistake, because in reality, there is nothing that you can lose from it. So <clears throat> what the card points is that uh, you need to overcome the fear of, of making mistake or of making a wrong move because this wrong move only can teach you in something rather than to deprive you from something, all right? So it's, and also the card asks you to step outside of your comfort zone as well because what we do have with the card is a, a woman and a child most likely, uh, this is accepting it as a woman or a person and a child are moving away from where they were into a new shore that according to the card is a shore of the unknown. So it's more like you making a step toward the unknown, intelligently um, giving yourself a, uh, um, an insight that the end goal of this unknown shore, it will be a, a substantial and essential thing for your growth. And also the Six of Swords, it does point for uniting opinions. So you got to maintain uh, with this card, you, those who are to support you, uh, you have to maintain the equilibrium there. So you shouldn't allow those people to fight among one another, but instead you need to lose and channel the, uh, the love to, uh, that they have for you to unite them over the common goal, which is your goal. So... Um, <clears throat> Uh, that is a little bit difficult to uh, be explained just with terms. So just to give you an, an example of it, um, you want to follow a new career path, you know, and you are married. 
and your family supports you well what about the family of your wife or husband you know they may support you because you are married for their child but yet they may have some sort of a reservation and therefore you have to maintain you know communications with, with your family with their family may gather make family gatherings and etc etc so you can you know maintain that support that everybody unites around your goal and gives you um, you know the sense of security that you do uh, deserve and the next card that is going to be the four we do have a double air card so we do have a an active supportive and it's generally the, as soon as you make that risky move kind of like a seemingly risky move although as i said in reality there is nothing there to applaud uh, to um there is nothing there that you that you have to be afraid of that is going to provoke a, a brand new beginning uh, in your life or you are going to do it and that will uncover a, a severe opportunity for yourself to um start a, a new beginning in your life uh, not to mention that the full card as an action urges you to be carefree to give an expression to your ideas you know not to be afraid that you have to take a, a leap of faith and so on and so forth and also not to be biased with human interactions so if someone approaches you do not cut them off just because you don't like them from a first impression but just give them a chance guys and also those who doesn't want to be with you give them a chance to be uh, happy elsewhere right so uh, that was with the things that you had to do uh, that you have to do throughout the week to provoke a uh, growth in your life the height of uh, that the hermit promises you which is a, a new life cycle of growth and etc uh, etc et and the last card that we do have is where this uh, life cycle leads you uh, and uh, just to make a point here, tarot works in cycle of uh, cycles of growth. All right. So even though this life cycle of growth ends with this person, it doesn't mean that the agenda ends. The new cycle of growth comes up with this person. All right. And from there, you can just step on the next level. So this new uh, life path is going to lead you to a, a person, a very loving person, most likely a woman, but it could be as well a male. And uh, they are loving and they fall in love with the human nature. Therefore, they will love you. All right. And I don't know how, however, it will depend. Is this a business partnership or romantic partnership? But there will be love, you know, they will not be there just in a, uh, from a pure interest because um, this person, uh, they kind of like have these subtle senses into human interactions they th this person kind of sense the plight of others they sense your plight okay and they very well know what you have been through they very well know how much you struggled as, as soon as you open yourself for them because they they require one to be open this is how that person makes an emotional connection with other when one opens with them and they start feeling what the other person who opens to them also is feeling so if that is a love interest you will find someone who truly understands you truly understands your emotions you know and truly understands what you need as well because as I said that person has a huge sense of the human nature and human interactions as well but also what the card and that person as soon as you meet them will ask you is to be discreet about what you want here from this cycle of development or that you do develop an emotional connection with them so if that is a love interest it will be beneficial if you don't brag about that uh, love interest all right if this is a business partnership it will be good as well if you don't display it in public straight away and etc etc is basically that person is very private they like their privacy and uh, if you are a part of their privacy that is a big deal of trust that they are giving to you so do not betray their trust the accompanied card with uh, this is uh, the eight of cups and there is a couple of ways how this card could, co could contribute into the queen into this person that person could heal you from a, a huge emotional trauma by uh, either you know giving their love to you or also it could be as well a therapeutic help that they can exert but what the uh what the generic meaning of this combo is that this uh person is going to basically 
uh, appear themselves as a, uh, a much, much better perspective of what you had before the, the Hermit card hit you, before you analyzed and placed a, a new criteria of what is substantial uh, for your life. So we are having you here a, a, throughout the week that you are going to develop it in such a way that the very least at the end, guys, you are going to win a, a very, very fa faithful companion, best friend, or maybe a, an extraordinary lover, all right? Or an extraordinary person that you can make a, a relationship with. So that being said, Gemini's, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading for February 4th to February 10th, 2019. I hope you kind of enjoyed it, guys, and you liked it. And I hope as well that, um, you know, you can attach it to your personal situation and extract the information vital for your uh, further development. And uh, that being said, uh, again, it was just a general reading. Therefore, uh, it will resonate in a different level with every single different Gemini. Uh, and for that reason, uh, you should align, as I said, your situation to it. But if you want me to interpret the cards according to your personal situation and to give you a prediction for the future as well, guidance, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website. Uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.